Here's a quick tip to help you increase your influence by practicing your delivery with the use of pauses and commas. My sons and I like to joke that in English, it's all about the comma. What does that mean? Well, imagine you and your family are standing around the kitchen, you are preparing a meal, and someone says, hey, let's eat, Grandpa. That sentence takes on a starkly different meaning when you subtract a comma. Let's eat, comma, Grandpa is very different than let's eat, Grandpa. All right, I know that took a dark turn, but it's just for teaching purposes. Most of our speeches and stories are not going to go in that direction, right? Well, how can this translate over to practicing your delivery? The meaning of your sentences can change with the emphasis on words or where you place your pauses. Let's use the sentence, I didn't say that. You can say, I didn't say that. Now, I've emphasized the word I, but there's also a pause to really drive home the emphasis. I didn't say that. I didn't do it. I didn't say that. I didn't say it. I might have written it. And I didn't say that. My emphasis on that means I said something else or may have said something else. It can change the entire context of your story. Use this. It's a great way to test out your material to change the meaning of, of key lines in your stories. It can completely change the perspective the audience has on your meaning and your message. Now, if you excuse me, I got to go get something to eat. Hey, let's eat. Grandpa. See you.